ตาแนน All right, um, you you may call this part two of uh, yesterday's video. So yesterday we checked the flow rate of the Pegasus versus the Kalita. In conclusion, the Pegasus was faster, even though even even though it has only two holes, but they're quite they're quite bigger holes than the um, Kalita. Anyway, um, if you want to watch that video, I'm gonna put a link right here. Today, we are comparing brew qualities of the Pegasus versus the Kalita. The coffee that we're gonna use today is from H Proper Coffee Roasters. This is the Wimoe Number no. Nine. This coffee used to be my favorite, so I am very familiar with how it tastes. So I know what I'm looking for with the coffee. And yeah, I know how, how the coffee bean um, behaves. Okay, while the water is heating up, um, I'm gonna prepare the coffee grounds and the paper. So for this brew, we're gonna use the Hario Pegasus filter. We're gonna use an Easy Presso ZP6. And then we're gonna set it at 5.5 Okay, we have 13 grams for the Pegasus And then this is our 13 grams for the Kalita Okay, so we need another scale for this and we need two servers so 5.5 on the Easy Presso ZP6 is kind of like around 21 or 20 on the Comandante. We're gonna brew this side by side so that we have minimal temperature difference. Right. I'm gonna start with the Pegasus first. Timer. Right. ml um, let's wait for 20 seconds so that we have okay timer okay that's 30 ml and then at 45 seconds we're gonna pour up to a hundred. I'm I'm trying to wet all the coffee grounds like the floating coffee grounds and then concentrate in the middle. At 130, I'm gonna pour all the way to 200. Like heavy pour, like turbulent pour. And then concentrate in the middle. Right, 200. Now we're just waiting for this 130. Right. We're just waiting for the, all the water to go down. The Pegasus finished at 225. Yes. Right, and then we're waiting for the Kalita. Oh, close, close, close. We finished at 2.30. Mm, close, close, close. So they're both, um, in terms of, in terms of uh, water behavior, it still corresponds to the test that we did yesterday. Um, yeah, but here is a big but. <laughs> so the coffee grounds on the Pegasus, um, most of the coarser size is on top. So it could be there, uh, the very 
um, slight difference in shape. But the coffee grounds on the Kalita, mostly the fine particles are on top. Considering, considering the ZP6 has minimal, um, minimal micro fines, right? So I think we need to take a picture of this as well. Right. Um, yeah, I think we have a nice, um, we have a nice comparison of that. Now for the taste, we're gonna judge, um, we're gonna judge how they taste. So let's start with the Pegasus, because the Pegasus finished first. It's very aromatic. Slightly more aromatic than the Kalita. Right, let's try the coffee from the Pegasus. It's very sweet with some fruity notes. But I, I sense some I get some drying in the end at the finish. Could be a problem with my grind size. Um, okay, let's put this aside for now. Now let's try the one from the Kalita. Mm, I get more acidity out of the Kalita. A lot more um, fruity notes, but very low sweetness. Yeah, but the but the fruity notes are crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me let me take a look at the packaging again. <laughs> so that's mango, strawberry, and passion fruit. I can definitely say that I am tasting passion clear, very clear passion fruit here. Oh, that is one difference. Let me take a cup. Let's try drinking it from a cup. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So here is my conclusion. It's actually very easy. Um, so the brew made with the Pegasus is very sweet, with um, with little to medium fruity notes. Um, the clarity is a bit low because I can definitely, I can definitely taste that it is very sweet with some fruity notes but it's not very um, distinguishable right it has so it has low to medium uh, clarity while with our budget friendly Kalita the sweetness is very low yeah the, the sweetness is very low but the fruity notes is very clear. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um yes, the the fruits with the Kalita brewer with the Kalita dripper is so distinguishable. Um I can I can I can clearly taste the passion fruit there oh but now i'm getting a drying sensation with the kalita as well so the drying sensation could be because of my um my uh grinder right but but um that is the main difference with the pegasus uh it's very sweet um it has low clarity but you get some nice uh nice 
um, brightness to it. While the Kalita is on the opposite um, side of the spectrum, it is um, it has a very low sweetness, but it has really good um, brightness to it and with great clarity. I think I'm gonna enjoy this one better now with my 88 pesos dripper. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!